Today I wanted to show you how we can use the storage function on our calculator so that way we can store different numbers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just turn our calculator on and let's input the number that we want to save for later use. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Avogadro's number. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23. So to store a number, all we need to do now is press shift and then down here on this button where it says STO for storage, we'll go ahead and press that. And so now you can see on the display the letters STO showing that it's ready for the storage. So now we have a few different variables that we can select from. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, and we've also got M down here, but I would kind of stray away from using M because that has some different properties that I might discuss in a later video. So I'm going to go ahead and just press A for now. And so now you can see that the number has been stored in variable A. So now how do I recall this number if I want to use it at a later date? All I need to do is press alpha and then go down here, press the A. And there we are. So now I can also operate on that as if it were just a normal number. So A times 4 equals, and there you go. So that's how you can store a number in your calculator and recall it for use later on.